go, welcome back, yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we are gonna be continuing on the XJ650, start fiberglassing the rear hump and the seat cowl. Last episode, as you just saw, we got the shape using florist foam and uh, the shape isn't perfect. There are some imperfections and some bits where it broke off, but nothing we can't sort out with the fiberglass in that process. So you can see here, we managed to get the hump sorted out. It went down so well, but apart from these few little holes here and bits like where it kind of broke off, you can see just here, this is what I'm talking about. This is why it's so fragile. When it gets so thin, it does just want to crumble away and break. This is going to be okay. This is I'm okay with this because what we need to do now is get some cling film and give a nice layer over everything and cover basically the entire bike. Yeah, give a nice base ready for the fiberglass. So you know what we're doing, you know what the plan is. So let's just crack on and get this seat started. So it may look a bit of a mess. It may look a bit of a, what the hell are you doing? But, but hear me out, we are making this from scratch. Cling to this separately, just because, so I got the conformity to be able to go down the sides and that, because obviously with the cling, if I went round this as well, it would have just like gone straight and smooth, which I don't want. I wanted a bit of like a, a tight bend there. So, so yeah, what I need to do now. Need to wax it. This thing needs waxing just so the fiberglass doesn't stick. It's gonna stick, but it just helps remove any kind of like stray pieces at the end. Uh, this is just natural beeswax for boots. It's just, you know, literally just a wax. And yeah, start fiberglassing. So I've given it a few coats of wax just to kind of make sure it's not going to stick. I've got some resin. I think I've got myself a kit where you just put the whole lot together because there's 10 grams of hardener here and 250 grams of resin. So I think that's about right, but I'm going to check before I start pouring it out. Uh, something I also suggest you do before you start this is make sure you've got enough fiberglass because I unraveled my fiberglass and it may look enough, but it might not be enough as well. Fortunately, I did have some other sheets of fiberglass as well. So I'm hoping to kind of make them work together to, you know, yeah, just, just to give me this seat hump. So, but yeah, this is my third time doing it. So you've got to start somewhere. And also for the money, I bought myself a little, a little roller. I think it was like three quid. It's worth it just to make the job a little bit easier. So let's see if we've got enough fiberglass. I hope so, but yeah, let's start shaping. Right, I have done as much as I can do. I actually ran out of resin, not the mat. 
take that <laughs> into consideration also. I am actually gonna go and get some more resin because I do have a few more sheets of mass I just wanna lay over just to kind of give a bit some give it some structural rigidity. We've got about two or three layers on the hump and about two or three layers here, but I do want a few more around this area. But there's nothing more I can do this evening apart from just let it cure now. All I've got to do now is leave it overnight and I'll come back tomorrow and we'll have a look at how it's cured. So it's been roughly 24 hours and it is now hard, but I have noticed it is a bit on the, um, the thin side. It's not really easy to show you, but I'm not happy. It's also a bit too thin in this part as well. I'm gonna add some more layers now, get some more fiberglass down and come back tomorrow and see how it sits at that point. So we're leaving that to dry for another 24 hours. I'm pretty certain that's gonna be strong enough now. But I've picked the four winners for the key tags that I had in the last video. And that is Crazy Monkey 2902, Built by Hand, Just Dave and Trent Jarvis. Congratulations. Drop me a message to the email on the About Me page and I will send you out those key tags. So I'll be back in 24 hours and we'll see how this is cured. Right, it's been another 24 hours and it's cured. I'm gonna to attempt to take it off. Uh, I don't know how well it's gonna trim. I'm gonna to have to be doing a little bit of filling maybe, I think, but we'll just see when we take the mold off. So there we have a very rough shape hump. It's gonna need a lot of tidying up. Um, what I'm probably gonna do now, what the, probably the best thing for me to do is, is take all the cling off, um, all the hump, everything that's there, put this back on and match it up with the frame and kind of find a cut line that we can go around and trim. Obviously not take too much off, so we've got a bit of room for maneuvering, but should be good, yeah. So guys, we've got it all roughed out. It's on the bike. I'm really digging the look of it. I think it looks so, so good. We still need to refine it and bring back the lines so it fits the tank and everything properly because as you can see, it's a bit of a mess, but we're not gonna be doing it in this video. We're not gonna be rushing it. I wanna take some time making sure everything fits all right and we'll be doing that in the next video. So thanks very, very, thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for watching. Ugh, washing. So thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I shall see you in the next video. Peace.